Welcome Geminis and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 21st of March through to Sunday the 27th of March 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soul, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does the soulmates of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Oops, week commencing Monday the 21st, well this card wanted to come out. Oh, action. Okie dokie. All right, so... um. It feels as if somebody's chasing you. Somebody's chasing you and you've got, um, a, you've got like you're running, you're running away from something. And do you know something? I feel that um, it's because you're undecided. You're undecided. Somebody's chasing you, I feel. Um, and I feel that you've got to take action to make a decision. Do you stay or do you go? Should I stay or should I go? Do I keep running or do I um, reciprocate this person that's chasing me? You're definitely at a crossroads. And I feel that many of you are running away from making a choice. This person is chasing after you. I feel whoever is chasing after you, I feel that they, um, if it's somebody that you've broken up with, it feels as if they're manifesting you back. They're chasing you because they want to build a future with you. And it feels as if this crossroads, um, you're really undecided whether you should give this person another chance or if you should keep on running, basically. It feels as if this full moon that came in on the 18th of March, something was illuminated to you. Either this person done something or because you're running away from something, either your feelings running away because I don't know, this person let you down. Oh, wow. The temple path. It almost feels as if you want to take the path that you're supposed to be on and you're not sure if it's with this person or not. If the temple path is something that's sacred, something that is um, fated, um, something that you feel that um, it's like you it's like you want to take the path that's going to lead you to your true divine counterpart, something that's precious, something that's sacred. And you may not be sure whether or not that it's this person. It's almost as if you are evaluating. Do you take the risk and um, continue a relationship with this person or engage in this person? Go back to this person? I feel that... Um, mm, I almost feel that this person is actually somebody that is a, a, like a sacred connection and you may not realise that. And I feel that you're being guided to take the path that brings healing and happiness to you. And it may mean that you, yeah, look, change the world card. So it feels as if there's either there's been patterns of behaviours with this person that has put you in a, a bit of a dark place. And that is possibly why you're really uncertain. Do you stay or do you go? Yeah. Um, but this person is definitely chasing you. It feels as if the two of you are from different backgrounds or different cultures, different beliefs. But you definitely want to go down a path where... It's somebody that you're supposed to be divinely guided. That's the change that you want. You want cycles to finish. Anything that upsets you, anything that has hurt you, it feels as if you just want to come out of that. You want something that's sacred, something that is precious, that's protected. 
and you're not sure if it's this person, I feel that you're definitely being guided to take the path of healing and happiness. Um, it feels that this connection is fated to you, but whether or not it's fated um, as a sacred union, I feel as if only you can evaluate it. That's what I'm getting. Only you can evaluate it. Your crown. Oh, wow. Okay. I said to you, somebody is manifesting you. This looks like either you are manifesting peace. Okay. Or whoever's chasing you is manifesting you, trying to manifest you back. That's what I said. That's what I was picking up. It's like this person wants to build a future with you. Let me just have a look at this card because I don't know these cards off by heart misleading illusion confusion yeah it's almost as if you're manifesting an answer but i feel that this person is manifesting you back they want to bring in peace but there is something that um okay now i can see why you're nervous about this because it's almost as if this person chasing you is it an illusion are they misleading you <clears throat> are they confusing you that's why there's this indecision misleading illusion confusion it says do not be misled by what you see around you or be influenced by what you see you live in a world which is a playground of illusion full of false paths false values and false ideals but you are not part of that world. So it's almost as if you're manifesting something that is true, divine, sacred, and you're not sure if this is this person because there's some sort of change that I feel that you want because whether or not this connection has been quite volatile, like, you know, it's kind of like this person may like the chase, but you may have fallen for that and you ended up being unhappy and you want change. You want peace in your life. But I feel that this person is manifesting you back into their life because they want to build a future with you. I feel that mm, from the description of this card, it almost feels as if your spirit team are coming in and saying that it's, a, it's an illusion this person wanting to build a future with you, manifesting you back, wanting peace, chasing after you. It's an illusion. Let's continue. Wow. A G whiz. Um, Gemini's. I was not expecting that. So either this is a fated connection in terms of there's some sort of karmic debt that needs to be um, leveled out or paid. I don't know. But you definitely want to take a path of something that is divine, sacred. Like you want your true love. And you're not sure whether or not it's this person. That's why you're running away. Do you know something? Um, do you know what? I didn't want to say it, but I feel your spirit team are coming in and saying it, it's time to continue running. Taking action and go. Don't, don't look back. Because this person, it's like it's an illusion. Yeah, I feel that many of you, it's almost as if um, you've got dreams You've got dreams, you want transformation, you want something. This is all about emotion. And it almost, you could have a lot of water in your sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or you could be dealing with a water sign. There's a lot of water. Water represents emotions. All these butterflies is transformation. And we've got um, the doves here, peace. You just want peace. You want somebody that's going to love you. Yeah, you want the emotion, you want the love, you want something that's sacred. Many of you could be dreaming about that, wishing, hoping, praying, manifesting that. So unless your uh, spirit team is saying, whoever's chasing you at the moment, that is an illusion. Yeah, that's an illusion. 
So either, either they're saying to you that there's something else coming around the corner that is going to give you what you want. Yeah, look at that. Curiosity, comparisons, dissatisfaction. You are dissatisfied with whoever's chasing you, but you're still at a crossroad. Do you go back to them or do you go? I feel that they're saying if, if you go back to this person, because they could be promising you that they want to build a future, they're definitely manifesting you back. But it's like what you're dreaming about this person. It's like your spirit team is saying it's an illusion. So and, and you could be comparing, uh, like comparing what true love, something sacred, something that is unconditional, something that you want to change about this person or this relationship. That's why you're really undecided. And it really feels as if your spirit team is saying continue going forward. It says here, one of the most tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. We are all dreaming of some magical rose garden over the horizon instead of enjoying the roses that are blooming outside our windows um, today. So it almost feels as if there is something that is blossoming, maybe outside of this connection, but um whatever it is you're dreaming about about this person it's an illusion it's an illusion but what you are dreaming about this sacred union it could be just around the corner um gemini's hence why they're saying um it's like they're saying don't fear change embrace change and continue moving forward. Many of you, it might be really scary to really disconnect and keep running from this person. But I feel that there's something that is about to be birthed, something that's blossoming, something that is on the horizon. But you need to almost be in the present and face the reality that this person that's chasing you is an illusion. It's like you're being guided to hold out because somebody is coming. Somebody is coming that is um, like fated or like um, a, a sacred union. This card wanted to come out. No, it didn't. There's two cards. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question? How does the soulmates of uh, Gemini... Sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love. Week commencing. M Monday. <coughs> oh, look. I didn't even see that turn over. Look, it's almost as if, look, I mean, even this card. It's like they're saying to you, move forward. It's like that white horse there. It's like they're saying, move forward with grace, with integrity. Let me get the card for this. Uh, 44. Yeah, look, unison, common goal, shared value at one with others. It is probably not love that makes the world go around, but rather those mutually supportive alliances through which partners recognize the dependence on each other for the achievement of shared and private goals. I feel that you're being guided, that you're coming into union with somebody that is um, on this temple path, that you will have shared values, shared beliefs, and it almost feels that the only way that you can do that is to keep moving forward. So whatever you're dreaming about with regards to this person that is chasing you and you're uncertain because there's been unhappiness here and you want that to change. Whatever you're dreaming that like there will be change because this person could be saying to you they want to build a future with you. They're certainly manifesting you back. I'm definitely picking that up. Um, but they're saying to you what you're dreaming about this person is an illusion keep moving forward because you're going to come into union with somebody else that is that's that that is um that's going to take you down that temple path something that is sacred something that is precious somebody that is your divine counterpart common values common goals 
on the same page. And so therefore the dream of wanting emotion, love, pure and simple, you can get it if you keep running basically from whoever's chasing you. <clears throat> Gosh, okay. All right, Geminis, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Geminis. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something really useful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 21st of March through to Sunday the 27th of March 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Gemini that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's see what's going on. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, wow. Let's take all of these cards out. Okay, so <coughs> whoever, excuse me. Um, so whoever you are connecting with, they're coming in um, swift communication, right? Unexpected. I feel that this person may have um, cut you out, said something quite cutting upset you and it created a tower moment so either this person uh you walked away they walked away from you they're coming back they're the person that's chasing you um i feel that that you're being guided that this tower moment with this person has happened for a reason it's to break you out of the illusion that this person is your person basically you're being guided to move forward because there's something else around the corner for you wow Yes, look at what is round the corner, your wish fulfillment. Can't even make this up. It almost feels, I feel like I'm going to, and look, it's this, remember we read this card. This is about unison. This is about common um, goals, values, belief systems, unconditional love. The dream that you have of just being loved, giving love, receiving love. Whoever this new person is that's coming in, they will give equally to you. And you will give equally to them. And it's somebody that you've lived many, many lives with. And they will be your wish fulfillment. The tower moment with this person needed to happen in order for you to break out of the illusion. Because this person is coming back. Swift, unexpected communication. And I feel that they're going to be coming back, saying to you, almost telling you all the sweet things that you want to hear. They want to build a future with you. They're manifesting you back. Um, this person said something, cut, said something, cut in. It almost feels as if this person is quite, um, like, very, like, uh, direct with their words. I want to say a little bit, I wouldn't say controlling, but, like, this person doesn't really think before they speak. Or their words can be quite cutting, and it almost feels as if like some of the things they say to you, like it really hurts you. It really hurts you. And that's why you're at this um, crossroads because they're coming in. They're coming in to take like they want you back. It's like with this person, there's never it's like this person and their words. You know, this person could like um, be in and out of your life. What, one minute they cut you out, maybe go silent on you, and then they start running after you, giving you lots of communication, letting you know all the things that you, uh, it's like they, 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 they're communicating what they know that you want to hear, but they, there's nothing been, there's been nothing but sadness darkness with this person and it feels as if the tower moment is like now you're kind of like really evaluating 
evaluating should i stay should i go your spirit team are telling you go because um there is somebody that is coming in that is going to be peaceful that won't be an illusion so this person is an illusion what you're going towards is somebody that is going to be your wish fulfillment that is going to be um something sacred something that you are fated to meet ah but do you know something i feel that you're going to have a lot of nostalgia for this person and that is possible either you've met somebody already right and that is why you're at an indecision but you may be missing this person they're saying to you that's an illusion and to break out of that, move forward with this person. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. But yeah, with this um, uh, uh, Six of Cups, which I feel like is this person, you're missing this person's energy. There's a certain amount of nostalgia. This could be a karmic partner. So this person also feels fated. Yeah. And it's almost like, do you take the risk because you miss this person? But if you're honest with yourself, it's been nothing but tower moment after tower moment after tower moment with this person. But you still miss them. And it's because you have lived many lives with this person. You may have lived um, many, um, like the cycle with this person keeps repeating it's like on repeat because you can't let this person go. You may have confused this person as somebody as your wish fulfillment. But I feel that your spirit team are saying keep moving forward because your real wish fulfillment is coming. Well, whoever that you are, whoever this person is, um, I feel that they, they love you. Yeah, they do love you. Yeah, they want a new beginning with you. All right. And I feel that they want you to take action towards them to reciprocate this new beginning. Yeah. But they are at a crossroads because you're 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 running away. There is definitely love. OK, with the Ace of Cups, this is unconditional love between two souls. But, do you know, what? in context of this reading, it feels because you have um, uh, this is a repetitive cycle, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. It almost feels as if you're confused with what real love is. And that's why they're saying to you that this person is an illusion. Your real love is somebody else coming in. Yeah, this person is waiting. They're waiting for you to get... Look at the, the, the... This is the arrogance of them. They're waiting for you to come towards them. But they're going to reach out to you. Maybe very flirty. Chase after you. They're going to chase after you. Tell you all the sweet nothings that you want to hear. Your spirit team are telling you this is an illusion. And the, it, to be honest with you, the arrogance is like they know. They know that you're going to come towards them. Because they know that there's love. You do love this person because you do miss them. They're saying, your spirit team are saying it's an illusion. Wait out. Keep moving forward because your true wish fulfillment is um, uh, coming forward. It almost feels as if you need to break out of the dream world of this person. And I'm not being funny. There's love there. Yeah, there is love there. However, it ain't serving you no good. And we've got the seven of, um, yeah, the, the seven of swords. This person is keeping secret. They're keeping secrets from you. Um, they're keeping secrets from you that uh, they want you to step towards them, reciprocate. Keeping secret that they're waiting for you to come towards them. To reconcile. I would say that this person, um, yeah, they're, they're going to tell you that they want something serious. They want to build a future with you. It's going to be nothing but another tower moment. You're, you're being guided to fight for a true love. It's almost like fighting for yourself. Keep moving forward. It's like you're being guided to fight 
to get out of this tower moment with this person, this repetitive cycle. And look, the candle's just gone out. It's like it's complete now. Uh, you are, I feel that you're heartbroken, disappointed, that this person isn't your wish fulfillment. You're being guided. You may want to fight for this person. I feel that you're being guided. This is an illusion. Didn't I say that with that world card here, you're in, you're stuck. It's like you're stuck. Jeez. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The four of um, swords that your spirit team are saying, go rest your monkey mind. It The truth with the black bird, the raven, the crow is universal truth. This connection over here is dead. Dead. Let it go. Let it go. There's a rebirth of something new if you keep moving forward. This person that you're missing is over here, but it just brings you nothing but heartbreak. You may want an apology from this person. You may want this love. They're saying it's an illusion. It's an illusion. Gosh. Let me see if I can get something about this new person. Please, can you tell me about the new person for Gemini? The new, thank you. Okay, right. So whoever this new person is, they do want to talk to you, but they know that you're guarded. Yeah, you're guarded. So you know who this new person is. And the reason why that you are, um, you may have an inkling who this person is. They want to talk to you. Okay, I feel that they want, um, the new person wants to talk to you. They want to communicate, but they feel that you're guarded and you are because you're coming in as the queen of swords. And this is why that you, it's because you are undecided. Do you stay or do you go with um, the ex person or whoever is running after you? But there's somebody that is just around the corner that I feel is a sacred union. They want to talk to you. They want to get to know you, but they can see that you're guarded. Thank you. Oh my God, I can't even make it up. Gemini's. Whoever this new person is, they see you as long-term commitment marriage. This is the temple path that you're being guided to move towards. Can't even make this up. Can't make it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Victory. Oh my God, I've just literally got a chill. Six of wands. There is victory with your new person. Because have Leo in their chart, but they have victory, 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 success. You're going to get what you want, this temple path, but you need to cut out this person. You may have felt that this person was a twin flame because we've got the king of swords and the queen of swords. It almost feels as if, yes, it is a fated connection, but not in the right way. It's a karmic partner. Look at that. You want a new beginning. You want a new beginning. But you don't know, again, do I stay or do I go? Personally, from the cards that's come out here, you're being guided that this, this, the ex person that's chasing after you is an illusion. Keep moving forward because you are going to encounter somebody if you haven't met them already, okay, that you're going to have common values, that you're going to be in unison, that the dream of this perfect, not perfect, nothing's perfect, but this dream of unconditional love, of giving equally, you're going to find it with somebody new. But I feel it's somebody that you know already because they want to talk to you, but they can see that you're guarded. You want a new beginning, but it's almost like you don't know what that new beginning is. Is it with this person, the, um, the ex person, or do you keep moving forward and um, hope that you meet somebody that is going to take you down that temple path? Something that is sacred. I feel that your spirit team are strongly coming in and saying, you need to cut out the X. Keep moving forward because that new beginning, that is solid, that is grounded, that is equal give and take, that's balanced, something that you can rely on. 
is just around the corner for you because whoever this new person is, they see you as long-term commitment marriage and they see victory with you. It almost feels as if um, they've got a soul contract with you. And look at that, can't even make it up. The Ten of um, Wands. Right now you're burdened, very, very burdened because you don't know uh, what direction to go. And I feel that this reading is 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 guiding you, uh, Gemini's. I mean, you all have free will, but whatever it is you're fearing about walking away from this person, the ex person, you're being guided. Know that this ex person that's coming in, it is an illusion, and to turn that fear into excitement to move forward and be open to receive. Um, something beautiful, something new, something that's going to be different. Um, because whoever this new person that's coming in, there's success here. And I feel that your spirit team can see that. They don't want you to be burdened anymore. So for many of you, I would say keep running from the X, keep running. Because round the corner is this beautiful energy of somebody new that's coming in. Yeah, time to say goodbye to the old and welcome in the new. Let's see what your um, advice is. My angels, thank you. Yeah, look at that, confidence. Um, the solar plexus taking action and be confident. No one will believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. Be your own cheerleader, absolutely. I feel that you're being guided to be confident, to keep running forward, moving forward. And foundation, foundation is what the castle of your soul is built upon. So it almost feels as if this new person, they're going to build a whole new different foundation of love, what love looks like, feels like, reciprocating, giving, receiving. And throat chakra listening, if you want to be heard, learn to listen. It almost feels as if actually, do you know something, that, that final advice card it feels as if this is your spirit team talking directly to you, Geminis. Many of you may have spoken, um, connected with divine spirit universe, your spirit team, your higher self, asking for the question, asking the question, should I go, should I go? Should I go or should I stay? Look at that, I said it. Should I go or should I go? I, I didn't say that by mistake. They're saying, you want to be heard, learn to listen. They're answering you. I just said it. And that wasn't me that was speaking. Should I go? Should I go? And the card says, should I stay or should I go? They're saying to you, you should go. You have been using your throat chakra to ask your spirit team, divine spirit, universe, your higher self for a direction, for guidance. And they're saying to you, we've given you the answer. Listen. Listen to what they're saying. Whoosh. Ah, ah, okay. I'm going to leave that one there because that was real clear because that was not me speaking right now. Um, when I said, should I go, should I go? It, it, that was your team. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you, Geminis. Um, please check out your moon rising and Venus. Hopefully that will give you some more insight. Um, on the journey that you're on with this ex person and hopefully your new person coming in. Um, if this message resonated, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.